The history of Mercedes-Benz begins with three significant people, starting with Gottlieb Daimler, born in 1834 in Schorndorf, Germany. His favorite quote was, it's not the idea, it's the implementation that counts. He attended Polytechnic School in Stargard from 1857 to 1859. He completed multiple technical trainings in France and England before starting his career as a draftsman in Gesslingen in 1862. A year later, he was chosen to become an inspector in a machine tool factory in Rutlingen, where he met the next significant person, Wilhelm Maybach, in 1865. In 1872, he became the technical director of a gas engine manufacturer company Dutch Gas Modern Fabric, where he was introduced to Otto's four-stroke technology. After multiple disagreements with the managing director, he left the company in 1882. Daimler went on to build his own workshop to manufacture petrol-driven four-stroke engines. He closely worked with Wilhelm Maybach in 1884 and developed a different but similar combustion engine known today as Grandfather's Clock. He designed it to be lighter and easier to install into the vehicle. He used up almost all of his fortune in this trial operations, hence he began to look for potential business partners. He founded Daimler Motor and Gasoline Shaft on the 28th of November in 1890, together with his business partners Max Dottenhofer and Wilhelm Lorenz. Eventually, they were met with a disagreement as Max wanted to produce stationary engines while Daimler preferred to focus on vehicle production. Wilhelm Maybach decided to leave his job due to the unacceptable terms of his contract. Daimler went up behind his back and signed his name for all the patents and continued building engines with Maybach. The increasingly tense relationship between Dadenhofer and Lawrence led them to exclude Daimler as a shareholder. The disaster in finance led to an extremely slow production where DMG tried to bring back Wilhelm Maybach in 1895. Maybach denied the offer as he refused to come back unless Daimler joined him as well. In the end, due to immense pressure of the company, both Maybach and Daimler returned to the company. Wilhelm Maybach, on behalf of his partner Daimler, continued his work on the Phoenix engine with other 12 workers. Daimler's engine gained a lot of popularity in other countries and received multiple offers for licensing rights. Later, a group of English industrialists were ready to pay 350,000 marks for the licensing parts. Both received an outstanding position at DMG, where Maybach became the technical director and Daimler became the inspector general of the supervisory board. Their remarkable return had boosted the company. The tragic moment during their peak career happened where Gottlieb Daimler died from heart disease on March 6 in the 1900s. Up next is Carl Benz, born on November 25, 1844, in Cotswold. His favorite quote was, love of invention will never die. He lost his father when he was only two years old in July of 1846. Carl and his mother went through a tough financial situation, but his mother managed to help Carl attend the grammar school, and he was able to study mechanical engineering thereafter. At a very young age, he progressed from a locksmith to a designer. In 1871, Carl Benz, along with August Ritter, also a mechanic, founded his first company, Carl Benz and August Ritter Engineering Workshop in Mannheim. After some time, Ritter becomes an unreliable partner where Carl had to pay him off with the dowry of his wife and had to run the company alone. Carl Benz works every single day on a gas-driven two-stroke engine to manufacture his own idea for a vehicle without horses. After multiple attempts, he got the engine running for the first time in 1879. He founded the Gas Modern Fabric Mannheim, Mannheim Gas Engine Factory, as a shareholding company in October 1882. Ben's share in the company amounted to a mere 5% and he had limited influence in technical areas. His bakers were primarily concerned with the safe business of stationary gas engines. Carl Benz left the company in 1883 and joined forces with new partners Max Rose and Friedrich Wilhelm. Together they founded the company Benz and CIE, Ryan's Gas Modern Fabric Mannheim, Benz and CO, Ryan Gas Engine Factory Mannheim, and launched the two-stroke system Benz engine. Carl Benz was trying his best to implement his own ideas and his own automotive vision, but his partners were not very fond of his ideas and didn't believe that they could be profitable. Due to the disagreements regarding the vision for the company, Julius Gans and Frederick von Vischer replaced Rose and Enslinger in May 1890. The combined model of manufacturing station and vehicle engines was a success, but Carl wanted to focus only on vehicles and decided to start his own company, Carl Benz & Sons in Leidenburg in 1906.
Carl Benz resigns as a managing director and transfers his company to his sons to take over the control. The witnesses the rise of motorization and the implementation of his ideas. On his 80th birthday, this misunderstood and underrated inventor had now begun to be recognized and also receiving plaudits from around the world. In his final years, 1926 to 1929, Carl Benz remained active as a board member of a new Daimler-Benz AG company. The automobile pioneer died at his home in Leidenburg on 4th of April, 1929. The last person who completes the mighty trio of the beginning for Mercedes-Benz as we know it today is Wilhelm Mebe, also known as the King of Designers, born in Heilbronn on the 9th of February in 1846. He had a very tough childhood and was orphaned at the age of 10 years old. Wilhelm was adopted into the Rödelingen Bruder House in 1856 after his family friends printed an article in the newspaper. During his school years in Bruder House was where he got to build a relationship with Gottlieb Daimler while working in the machine shop in 1864. From the very beginning, Wilhelm Maybach followed Daimler to Katzwa and then in 1872 to the engine manufacturer Dutz. Later in his career, he became the head designer in January 1873. When Gottlieb Daimler left the Dutz gas modern fabric due to the internal issues, Wilhelm Maybach joined his friend in Canston in October 1882. Here they collaborated on the development of a lightweight, high-speed combustion engine. Daimler Modern Gasoline Shaft DMG was founded in November 1890 by Daimler and two business partners, Max Dadenhofer and Wilhelm Lorenz. Although Wilhelm Maybach was in the line to assume the position of head designer, he was unhappy with the constructual terms and left DMG in February 1891. What follows is a remarkable temporary solution, secretly funded by Daimler Maybach, continues to improve his mobility concept. Maybach worked with a small group in Kansan where he developed significant design concepts including the belt drive, the Phoenix engine and the spray nozzle carburetor and inspirations that were used in the automobile industry for decades to come. Gottlieb Daimler and Wilhelm Maybach were reinstated at DMG in November 1895 at the behest of English industrialist Frederick Sint, who negotiated the substantial licensing business for the company. Maybach's primary objective was to re-establish DMG's competitive capacity through technical innovation and reliable products. Extensive development work was implemented to advance the constant device in the Hotel Hermann to a serious production status. The most significant outcome was the belt-driven car, the first automobile to be produced by DMG in a considerable quantity. Following the death of Max von Dottenhofer in August 1903, Maybach's standing within the company gradually went down, leading to his eventual resignation from DMD in April 1907. Embittered by this treatment, Maybach goes into business with his sons, constructing the now legendary vehicles bearing his own name. Wilhelm Maybach died in Constant on 29th of December 1929 at the age of 83. This was also where the automobile pioneer was also buried close to the grave of Gottlob Demo at the Of Khrushchev Cemetery. Thank you for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. Part 2 will be coming out soon. Stay tuned. Bye.